Alright, hello again guys. Let's get a table going in LaTeX here. I'm going to insert it under where Tobias gets food. I'm going to put it in this section right here. So let's get started. So, of course, if we're going to build a table, so our first table. If we're going to build a table, we need to begin a table. After we begin the table, how about we center it? Uh, let's label it in advance. So I'm going to call it Tobias, or table Tobias tree sightings and I'm going to include a caption again and again this is optional caption in uh, square brackets and I'll show you referencing later in this video and what I mean by uh, what happens here when you insert it in the captions so this is local caption with reference so not doing that in this video but later and now let's actually begin our tabular table. And I'm going to create three columns. I'm just going to show you quickly how you can get a left aligned, center aligned, and right aligned table, or headings, what you want to call them. Uh, the, the first column heading is going to be date. And then to separate the one row or, or one column from another, you use the ampersand sign. So let's just create some headings here. And then to start the next row, you must use a double uh, slash like this. And I'm going to insert a horizontal line between my headings and the rest of it. So let's just type in some stuff here. So April, yeah, he was in the tree. Yes, it was raining. Next line, June 7th. And yes, he was in the tree. And no, it was not raining. And finally, June 20th. And yes, he was in the tree, and no, it was not raining. Now we have to end our tabular, and then we have to end our table. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so it's built up here, and the reason why it's built up here is I didn't tell it where to be, and I want it to be here, underneath of usually groundhogs nibble on greens found on the ground. So. There we go, now we've controlled where it builds, and this here is our table. There's a few things you can do if you want to make this table look better, uh, such as adding in, you know, uh, you could make a particular heading bold like this, or let's say you wanted to do the whole line. Well, in this case, you could type out bold face series, bold face series for each one, but let's say if you had like 10 and you were bolding quite a few rows there's alternate code that you can type in uh, that you can look up it's not hard to place in and you can get that going you can also control the width of cells if you wish and whether there's text wrapping issues but i'm not going to get into that in this video maybe for the next one on more complicated table implementation this is just a simple table you know anybody can do this okay so the next thing we need to do is we need to get a list of tables going list of tables is going to happen under my list of figures. So here we are. So as you can imagine, list of tables. It's not that complicated. We want to add a contents line to our table of contents. It's going to be a section. Uh, and it is going to line up with everything else. And it's going to be called list of tables. And then clear double page. Okay, so here's our list of tables, second build, it shows up, and it shows up in our table of contents. Now something else I'm going to show you, which is kind of cool, is how you can get it. So like, you know how sometimes in PDFs you, you click on a link and it takes you somewhere? Well, this doesn't do that right now. As you can see, nothing, nothing's happening. Um, let's change that. So go up to the top where your preamble is, and I'm going to use a package. And the package I'm going to use is going to hide the links. And you'll understand why. If you don't include this optional thing here, uh, what will happen is anything that is hyperlinked will uh, be like enclosed with some funky colors. And I don't like that. So you can hide the links so that they're not obvious. And then hyperref, uh, what does this do? This allows uh, for clickable references and let's fix the auto correct and we build that uh, let's build again okay and 
and build again. Okay, so now in my table of contents, if I quickly want to go to my introduction, boom, it takes me to my introduction. If I want to uh, see this figure, optional caption, it takes us there. If I want to click on this one here, because that one takes us, the introduction is found on page one, it takes us there. And one other thing we could do that I left out is we can reference our table just, you know, to show you that it can be done. Table, reference, tab, to bias, what did I call it? Tree sightings. Uh, logs, times I've seen Tobias in the tree. Build that. Why is it table 2.1? That's odd. Okay, there we go. So now it's building correctly. So that's a strange bug. I've not had that happen to me before, but there we go. So commented it out, let it reset, rebuilt it, and now everything seems to be working all right. So there you have it. I have referenced it, and if you click on it, it will take you to table one, figure one, page one. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you, like, this is all nice and well, but what happens if you have a big table? Like, let's say you have an Excel spreadsheet or a numbers spreadsheet or a CSV file or something like that. How, how do you get that data in? Because more likely you're dealing with bigger tables than this. And I'll show you how to get around uh, to doing that in the next video. See you then.